Hey, hey, what's happening? Well, in the last video for this 98 Chevy pickup, we went through, did some voltage drop tests. A uh, quick recap of what happened. Had voltage drop through the high-low switch. High-low switch itself is 150 to 200 bucks, not replacing it. Not only was this switch at fault, but there was another half volt drop through the rest of the circuit. And I just decided that I'm not fucking with that. The mission here is pretty simple. All I want to do, I want to take this tan wire that had a low voltage, and instead of this tan wire powering both low beam headlights, all I wanted to do now is just turn on a relay. And now, an overview of what we're doing. We're going to find the tan wire in that wire harness. Look at this, I can write upside fucking down. Hey. We're going to take the tan wire and we're going to cut it. Into the tan wire, we are going to go to our relay. This will be pin 85. It probably looks upside down because I can't write numbers upside down. Pin 86 is going to go to ground. 30 is going to come up and it's going to go to 12 volt at the fuse box stud. So we'll put studly right there. Pin 87 is going to come back up into the tan wire. So what we're doing is we're taking this super crappy low voltage, voltage drop out the ass tan wire and instead of it powering both headlights and making them look dull as fuck, that wire is now going to turn on this relay. And when the relay turns on, full power from that fuse box stud is gonna go through the relay and boom to the headlights and we should be fucking awesome. Normally, I like to use the Tyco 3040. I don't have a Tyco. I have a, I think this is from Avidal. It came with an alarm that I did but it's a 3040, it will work. It's got copper pins for the 3087 and 87A, so I think it'll work for now. So looking at this relay harness, we're gonna have red at the tab going to the stud, orange going to ground, black going into the tan wire um, input. This is gonna be on the input coming from the dash. And the harness goes this way up to the headlights. Black's gonna tie into there. The other red wire from this relay is gonna tie into the tan wire uh, going to the headlights. Since 30 is going to be hooked up to the fuse box, I choose to put a fuse in line with it. I uh, have another little crappy Adatapi fuse. I'm just going to connect these together. I'll leave a little bit of, I'm going to leave this a little long just like the last one, just in case I run into a problem. <clears throat> She's crimped on there. Since this is now going to be powering the low beams, I can't take the chance of that solder joint getting hot and working itself loose and losing low beams altogether. That would, uh, that would not be cool. All right. The tan wire on the dash side is going to go to black. The tan wire from the headlight side is going to go to this heavy gauge red right here. I guess I'm getting deja vu. Can we just do this shit? As a matter of fact, use this thick yellow wire comes off of our other relay down here for quads. So where I cut the tan wire has to be before where I spliced in the yellow. So I think right there should be about good. I'll give you guys a better uh, camera angle here in a second. It just so happened that there was already kind of like a pre-drilled hole down here. I know I didn't drill it. I probably couldn't even fit a regular drill down in there. Maybe a right angle with some shorty bits, but it almost felt like the thing was already tapped for something. I don't know. It's weird. 
I know that camera angle is not the best, but this is what I was looking at. I'm going to use the same ground when I put in the uh, quad relay. So there's nothing really to that. I'm just taking out this uh, screw. Oh god damn it, Jesus H. Christ. So now it's going to go screw and then both grounds for each of the relays and then star washer. Yeah, that motherfucker is not going anywhere. Of course, we're gonna have to hit that thing back up with some white lithium when we're done. Last but not least, our power feed. I don't have a fuse in it right now. I also found out that these studs up here on the fuse box, they are M8 with a 1.25 thread pitch. Before I go putting zip ties or tape or trying to halfway clean this up, even though it's a work truck and it shouldn't get anything cleaned up, uh, before I do any of that stuff, let's test it out and see if it works. Oh my god, is that the fucking low beam? What? What? Jesus, it's Christmas. I'm telling you, there's already a difference, a visible difference. That's no bullshit. I know that, you know, picking up lights on a video camera is kind of hard to do, but holy fuck. Hi, Mr. 15. So, Mr. 15. I can't get over how much brighter they look already. That, wow. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some spare fuses up in here. Just in case. Yeah, I'm putting 20s in here. Just in case I'm like riding home tonight and... It turns out 15 might not have been good enough. Our low beam voltage was 10.4 and now we're at 11.7. Uh, to be honest, David, they look brighter now with the truck not running than they did before with the truck running, so that's fucking tight. With as many times as I pull this motherfucking headlight out, should have the shit down to a science. That's what I thought, motherfucker. FYI, five millimeter. Wow. Wow. Uh, let's go for a ride. Damn it, Method Man. All right, let's check it out. Riding home after the mod. Man, this video is not doing it justice, at least what I can see in my camera. This is like bright as fuck. Now, it looks like I still gotta do some adjusting. Quads, boom. I think when I put that right side back together, I didn't get it back together correctly, so I might have to do some fine tuning. So it's pretty cool how this whole thing came to be. I just wanted to show an alternative way to do quads just in case somebody else had busy battery terminals like me and, and then it turned into finding a problem, then it turned into voltage drop, then it turned into fixing the voltage drop without actually fixing the voltage drop, just doing an alternate fix. 
Uh, I almost fell off my seat right there. You won't catch me labeling this video how to make headlights brighter because that would be straight up fucking deceptive. Seems I had another small surge of subscribers. I want to thank everyone for joining and checking out what I do here. You know what I mean? I've said this spiel before. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I don't have any affiliation with anybody. Everything you say comes directly from me and my experiences. I was talking with a guy that I'm a big fan of on YouTube and uh, he said that he thought that I kind of lost my edge. So thanks for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe to my shit. If you don't like what you see, I don't give a fuck. Go fuck yourself.